Welcome back. Now let's talk about the new CBN Forex policy. The Central Bank of Nigeria issued a new Forex policy on Monday, February 20th in order to ease the difficulties encountered by Nigerians in obtaining funds for foreign exchange transactions. The CBN also said it will start the sale of foreign exchange to, uh, to commercial banks on a weekly basis. The policy is expected to provide direct additional funds to banks to meet the needs of Nigerians for personal and business travel, medical needs, and school fees effective immediately. How is this going to work? Will it help in any way to bridge that gap between you know, the parallel market and the official rate for the dollar? We have in the studio three economists here in Lagos. We have Tunji Andrew. Hi. Good to have you here with us. And of course, Dr. Boniface Chizia, who is also an economist. Thank you. Thank you. And from our Abuja studio, we have Tokwe Fashua, who is joining us from there. Good morning. Okay, so we have this new Forex policy again. Let me start with you. What do you think about it when it came out on Monday? Well, I think that's, uh, I think to say that we have results on ground already. So, you know, I, I just come in this morning and I picked up uh, this day, Saturday, this day. And there in the, on the front page, it says uh, it's not exchange of about 430 naira on the power market. And now, we, before this uh, policy was introduced, the, the rate was going to 520. And I did the paper, I took a position. I said in that paper that with this policy, I predict that the exchange rate will drop for long to 400 naira to dollar. I said so. And uh, my friend, uh, Governor Saludo, got back to me on the WhatsApp and said, how did you arrive at that figure? <laughs> and I said to him, it's wishful thinking. But I said to myself, you know, if you look at, it's, 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 uh, for me, it's, uh, it's no brainer. If you are taking off that quantum of demand from the power market, you are reducing demand pressure. And one of the things you have to say about the power market is it's highly responsive to the supply and demand situation. In fact, it's, it's one window where you can see it goes up and comes down. You know, the, the other window, the, the interbank window, is managed by us. And so that's one, it, you can say it's stable and hardly, you know, goes, goes down. You know, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that I've been for quite some time. And so when you, when you come from that perspective, I think it's, it's already working. So, um, well, you cannot progress with this uh, uh, discussion. So I stand by my prediction that I think that if we, are, if we keep to what we started doing, so people have said to me, why didn't we, why did we delay well, like these uh, measures you know, for so long? I said, well, that's the time for everything. You know, I mean, it's a hard try. At yeah, some point in time, the beginning of the year, uh, people were concerned about uh, development with the rates of exchange. I know this that guy, but says central bank should bridge the gap, you know, should, should unify, you know, the rates of exchange. <coughs> and again, we took a position. We said, you cannot do that because the only way you can bridge the rate of exchange is that you must meet all the demands in, in, one, in one window. That's what we had, you know, but if you're not meeting the same window and you're having an alternative window, now anybody that goes outside this uh, um, window we have, which is official window, and goes another window, how to do that at a premium. I say, even if it's below the change operators, and central bank, they, they sell their money for central bank, by the time they go to uh, sell it to other people, central bank says, look, add uh, this one to my money. So I think that uh, what's happening is exciting, and I believe that uh, as we go down the line, uh, it will more just cry of people saying we should try and uh, float the Naira. Mm. I don't belong to the school that says we should float the Naira, because I believe that there's no market for the Naira. We have to continue with the, ma the ma managed float. And I expect that, uh, you know, we have, as we go on, uh, I'm ready to engage in, you know, discussions on this matter. So, Tunji, are you also, you know, excited? No. Um, I'll quickly explain. Um, what is happening is not magic. The issue here is that supply has been created, and naturally in the context of supply and demand, um, prices will fall. It's plain understandable. The question is the ability to sustain that supply. Can the CBN meet uh, Nigeria's dollar demand single-handedly? The answer is no. 
There's nobody that can argue that. We all know. In fact, I think the better answer is they shouldn't, right? And um, uh, I saw somewhere in the uh, policy document there is some hope that this might um, bring back uh, foreign portfolio investment. Will it? No. The reason why JP Morgan exited Ni uh, removed Nigeria from its index was issues of capital control and transparency. Have we been able to return that to the market? No. Have we been able to bring uh, transparency back to the interbank market? No. I have an issue with us trying to control everything. Um, the parallel market, let's, let's clear something. The BDC rate is not the black market rate. There are two different rates, right? It's, I, but very close. <laughs> similar. Um, but the black market is, and is what would you like to call an illegal market. It is controlled by forces of how much we get, how much we can sell, uh, when will I get the next stash. Those are the principles that uh, govern the black market. Why we, are, why we are trying to control the black market, I don't understand. Because I have not seen anywhere in the world that a black market is controlled. You make a black market irrelevant by making supply to the point where nobody needs to go to the black market anymore. Right now, uh, we've tried to do that. And what you're seeing is also a bit of shock. The black market is not exactly sure what is going on. Are these people going to continue this drive? I mean, they are talking tough. We're going to flood the market with dollars. All sorts of things you're seeing in the papers. So it's a bit of fear. It's a bit of fear. Will the CBN continue this is the only question here. I mean, there's no reason to be excited unless the CBN can come and tell us this is our plan to sustain this flow. There was a reason why we encourage foreign portfolio investment. It comes in and goes out every month. But Yoruba people say, my money and the money of other people, when I need it, God should not let me lack anyone. And that was what foreign portfolio investment was always doing for us, because it was coming in and going out. We're able to use it to meet dollar needs. But right now, we don't have that anymore. Hmm. So. Will the CBN continue this? I don't think they can.